Yeah, the mayor coming here on the west side to see some of the damage, and it was extensive in some of these neighborhoods. In fact, so much water came down that several locks in the water relief system had to be opened up, but it wasn't enough to relieve all the pressure. The city saying more than 2,000 basements flooded, many here on the west side. This is how hot the water was. Al Thompson still reeling from the impact of the flooding that overwhelmed his west side home Sunday afternoon. I'm angry, but I don't know who to point the finger at, me or the city. I don't know, yeah. but I'm just very disappointed and upset. The two bedrooms where his boys sleep ruined. Two hot water heaters and his furnace also ruined by the waters that overwhelmed three sump pumps that he bought after it started flooding. This afternoon, Mayor Brandon Johnson touring parts of the 37th Ward with Alderwoman Emma Mitz, talking to residents, seeing the impact firsthand. And we're not just showing up to say hi, we're showing up to hear and listen. And again, we have the full force of government on display today. Today along the Riverwalk, they were cleaning up from the mess. The Metropolitan Water Reclamation District forced to open the locks at Navy Pier, reversing the flow of the Chicago River to relieve the pressure on the system. The lock at Wilmette also had to be opened. We had USGS gauges with eight and a half inches of rain. So that's, uh, you know, it was a large amount of rain in a short amount of time. That short time span also has a big impact because you get so much all at once, there's nowhere for that rain to go. For West Side resident Tim Williams, the water filled his basement with nearly three feet of water. He says he's never seen so much rain come down. Still have to get someone to get down here to clean this all out. My hot water tank is out, my uh, heater's out. Freezers, refrigerators, uh, everything destroyed. Other woman Emma Metz also experiencing flooding in her basement. She says she needs and believes the state ought to reach out and help people here on the west side who she represents clean up and recover from this mess. Mayor Johnson, who also lives on the west side, said he fortunately did not experience any flooding, but he wanted to come out here to talk to residents who did. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.